Hi, I'm Corey with the customer education team here at Comment Sold. And in this video, I want to walk you through how you can review your requested dropshipping samples and their allocation windows. Let's go. When a retailer requests a dropshipping sample from a wholesaler, two things happen. The first is that the wholesaler will allocate a certain number of inventory units to that retailer for them to sell. The second is that it will start an allocation window, which is the time in which the retailer has to sell those inventory units. Allocation windows are set for three weeks. So let's check out where you can review your requested samples and their allocation windows. Here we are on our comment sold dashboard and we're going to select dropship catalog in the side menu. From here, we're going to select manage catalog orders at the top of the page. On this page, you'll be able to review a summary of all of your previously requested samples. You'll be able to view the date the order was placed, the number of different products included in that order, the allocation windows for those samples, the number of samples included in that order, and the total cost of those samples. Now, a quick reason for why your sample count might differ from your product quantity is that you could request one product, but multiple different variants, which would change the number of your samples. So I order one product, a pair of shoes, but I request two different colors, the black pair and the brown pair. My product quantity is one, but my sample count is two. Now you can drill further into your order by selecting the order number. On this page, you can view a more in-depth summary of a specific order. You can view the total number of samples in the order and the amount paid for those samples, the address they were shipped to, and that allocation window. You'll also see an indicator here as to whether or not that allocation window is active or completed. If you scroll down, you will see a more in-depth summary of the samples you requested. You'll see an image of those samples, the product name, the description provided by the wholesaler, and if there is a specific variant that you requested, such as a size or color, you would see that indicated here as well. Let me show you a quick example of a completed allocation window. Our very first order was placed on September 9th, and its allocation window ended on the 30th of September. That date has since passed, and so you'll see here that there is a completed icon to let us know that that allocation window has ended. So what happens when an allocation window ends? So let's say that when I requested samples of this product, the wholesaler provided me with an inventory of 12 of the gradient watercolor stripes print. As a retailer, I had that three week allocation window to try and sell as many of those 12 prints as possible. If I sold them all, amazing. But if I didn't, the remaining inventory simply reverted back to the wholesaler. Since they warehouse the inventory, as a retailer, I wasn't responsible for shipping back the product, nor did I find myself having to keep the inventory that didn't sell. It's another reason why dropshipping is such a great opportunity for retailers to take a chance on some new products with their customers. If you have any questions about viewing your requested dropshipping samples or your allocation windows, feel free to reach out to the Comment Sold support team by selecting the blue support icon in the bottom right corner of your Comment Sold dashboard. Happy selling.